Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this, a brand new day. And remember, no matter who you are, you are valid. Well, hokey smokes, today has been a heck of a day. Not only did I have an appointment that was at 11 o'clock today, but I was just recording this, and I got a phone call, so I had to interrupt what I was doing. Have a video phone call for my podiatry appointment for the bone spurs on my heel through the Veterans Administration. Oh boy, be nicer if it was in person, but I don't have a vehicle to travel that far. Anyway, though, hopefully everything is going great with you. Now, my appointment that I had today was for my nerve compression. Everything that's going on in my neck, plus I've got some extra issues. I got some, I got a pain down in my neck. I think I've mentioned this before. If I lean my head forward, oh, it is horrible. And then between my left shoulder blade and my spine feels like a knife going into my back on top of all of my normal nerve compression issues. Oh boy. So I have to get to Walmart for the pharmacy to pick up a prescription of Flexeril, a muscle relaxer, in the hopes that that will help. I have been trying to posturally adjust myself so that it gets better. And while it hasn't been getting worse until today, it hadn't been getting better either. <sighs> if I were younger, I would have gone to a chiropractor. But now that I know a little bit more about chiropractors and I'm older, so I don't want to get, you know, violently crunched anymore. <sighs> oh, well, so that's fun. But I did make it to my appointment, and we talked about a lot of stuff. I mean, we talked about that. We talked about the nerve compression. And... Even though the last time I had talked to her, I had gone in with the idea of, this is it. I'm just going to go in for surgery. Things aren't getting better. She actually talked me out of it and said, well, let's try and treat it on a you know medical level with physical therapy and all that. So, okay, that's fine. I went in there today. We talked about stuff. And I said, well, you know, I'd like to continue doing it on a non-medical level. And she is like, well, you know, we could do surgery. So it's like, okay, well, thanks. But right now, no, I'm not going to do surgery. Even though, as I mentioned with her, the negative impact on my life has been almost immeasurable. At least 60% of my life and the things that I like to do have been stripped away from me because of my nerve compression. Oh, boy. But still, had the appointment, talked things out. I'm going up to Walmart to get my prescription later. They're going to be calling me at some point for physical therapy. And then when things, if they continue to get worse, as they will, I mean, it's going to keep growing over and compressing on my nerves. Then I'll discuss surgery. I stopped in at the office here and said that, I, I don't know what will happen, I don't know when it is, but rather than just wait till the last moment, I'd like to talk about it now. At some point I'm going to need surgery, and it's going to be such that I'll be, you know, in the hospital for a time, and then skilled nursing facility for a time. I won't be able to just drop in and pay my rent, but I'm not going to be, you know, leaving. And they said if it comes down to I, they need to come in and, you know, to wherever I am, to help me get my rent paid for me that they, so it's not an issue so that's good so when eventually this occurs then I'm going to uh, I will be at least partially covered now one of the big reasons I don't want to do surgery is number one I, uh, I, uh, surgery but number two I haven't really had surgery I had my tonsils out when I was like five or six I remember, I have a memory of a memory of a memory, impressions and feelings of one, when I puked blood into a kidney basin, and number two, when I called my mother and I begged her to come and take me home. So that's it that I remember from surgery. And that was back in the like late 60s. 
things are different. But still, that and some fingernails removed when I was younger. And that that's it for surgeries. So I'm not in any great hurry to have my body hacked into, especially around my my spine and my spinal nerves. <sighs> still though, you know, I'll burn that bridge when I get to it. Yay! And then, otherwise, boy, there was some stuff that I did want to talk about, but now I can't even remember what any of them are, so I'm taking a look around to see if I can remember what they were. But no, what with all of the disruption in my schedule going on, I am... Plus, I've been having troubles with insomnia, so I've been having trouble sleeping, as in staying awake which isn't sleeping. Well, I guess it's a sleeping issue because as I was watching videos, I was falling asleep, waking up, falling asleep, waking up. I mean, even taking, I was going to say melatonin gummies, but it, well, melatonin is right. I was thinking melanin, not melatonin. And I don't take melanin tablets. I don't even know if anything like that would work. But anyway, though, I, even though I take melatonin gummies, it still takes forever to fall asleep. It's hard to f stay asleep, and I wake up way too early. But with getting Flexeril subscribed, subscribed, prescribed for me, it can make you sleepy. So hopefully, maybe, I'll be able to sleep better at night, just as long as I can stay awake during the day. Uh, as it is, one of the things that I still do, every time I drink a cup of regular tea now, I throw in something with chamomile in it as the natural sedative. If caffeine, a natural stimulant, can raise your blood pressure, then can chamomile, a natural sedative, lower your blood pressure? I don't know, but it's worth a try. Plus, if I can get less anxious for any reason, then thumbs up for that. But past that, I have not really been doing much. I've been playing games as best I can. Plus, plus, if I lower the settings down to absolute potato, like with Fallout New Vegas, if I lower the resolution down to 1366 by 768 and bring the uh, texture qualities all down and bring in the view it's almost smooth I can kind of play it a little better and I think it might actually record so I am going to be trying to record some gameplay, only the games are going to be done in absolute potato mode. Which is fine, because some of the games, like I still want to do Kingsfield, that runs, it is potato, because it is a PlayStation 1 game. And I, I were those things, I don't even know what the resolution of the PlayStation 1 was. Couldn't have been any more than even. 640 by 480 so yay probably 320 by 200 <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Oh, this side is not working so well it droops and then I get all sorts of stuff which bugs me I don't know if it's a I just need to concentrate or if it's a muscle or nerve thing Ugh. but it bugs me anyway though so yeah, I'm going to spend my time editing, rendering, uploading this. I'm going to be heading to Walmart before their pharmacy closes. I am going to continue doing what I can to keep myself entertained as best I can. I am going to continue drinking tea and trying my best to stay hydrated. Plus, I'm going to be doing some research on more besides caffeine because I can't drink as much caffeine because of my blood pressure on natural diuretics 
one of the things I have to talk to my doctor about is for my lymph system in my lower legs burnt out around the year 2000-ish. And for decades it was problems. But then it started to get better. Well, it's actually, it was like the mid-90s. So, adjustment on that one. Mid-90s, too, was when it happened. So, my legs first started being really swollen. And then, over the years, they slowly healed to the point that I could not wear support stockings for a full day. And while my legs swelled up a little bit, it wasn't bad. So with support stockings, they were looking really good. But then about two, three years ago, I had something going on inside my legs that I still don't know what was. Because out of nowhere, they just got swollen, red, painful. And with an antibiotic, that brought it down, but only slowly. And my legs were got big and swollen again. Well, they started to get a little bit better. Now they've gotten swollen again. So something happened a couple of years back, and I'm not happy about it. Retaining too much fluid. So I'm going to work on trying to find natural di diuretics while I still got to pump fluid into myself because you can't get rid of water unless you take water in. And also, I need to stay properly hydrated. Way vey. Now, I have been working a lot on my solo RPG setting, but you don't have to worry. I'm not going to bore you with that. So, just not... <laughs> I can speak English. Just remember that I'm still working on it. I'm still very proud of it. I'm still happy about it. But, you know, no fear. Like I said, not going to bore you. So, thumbs up on that. Anyway, though, I'm going to try and get my stuff done here. Hopefully you can get done the things that you would like to get done. Very, very cool on that. And of course, if you can't, do not beat yourself up. Patreon patrons, thumbs up and thank you. Without your help, I would be in a whole lot more trouble than I am. Your help is very, very appreciated. Whew. Especially with I still owe people money. You're helping incredibly. Thumbs up and thank you. Without your help, things would be, oh well, much, much, much more painful. For everybody that leaves me a comment, thumbs up and thank you. Been doing my best to answer as many as I can, and that is appreciated right there, the fact that people leave me comments. So, I know that was sort of a non sequitur that way, but with my nerve compression, doing my best to answer as many as I can. With the laptop here, that makes it a whole lot easier. So, thumbs up and thank you. I still have my GoFundMe down below, since I'm trying to raise up the money to get a new computer that will actually play things without going down to potato mode, and that I can actually edit and render video on. So, if you could check out the various links in the description, that would be very, very cool. Thumbs up and thank you. Well, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and how is that done? And that is a very good thing. <laughs> what a terrible heart. But thumbs up and thank you. Yeah, nothing great or special. I am disrupted. This really hurts. And uh, tomorrow? Well, hopefully I'll sleep better tonight, because last night was awful. Yay. You take care, and I'll talk to you all later.